The EU misses dealing with Michael Gove on post-Brexit issues, sources in Brussels have said, with one suggesting it's time his successor Lord David Frost was replaced to clear the air. Since taking over from Mr Gove in February, the UK's Brexit minister Lord Frost has irked diplomats across the Channel over his approach to the Northern Ireland Protocol. There were fears in Downing Street that Mr Gove had adopted a soft-touch approach to Brussels. Now, less than four months into his tenure, Lord Frost has been accused of stoking up unionist anger over the protocol. The protocol, a key part of the withdrawal agreement signed by the UK and the EU, is designed to prevent a return to a hard border on the island of Ireland. One EU diplomat told The Telegraph, Gove's professional, less emotional approach was the more logical one from where we sit. And a second source referenced the reshuffle in Brussels which saw Michel Barnier replaced by Maro Sefcovic as the bloc's point man on Brexit. The change in February saw European Commission Vice President Mr Sefcovic take over responsibility for implementing the Brexit deal. A second source commented, the EU pressed the reset button when it replaced the French Michel Barnier with Sefcovic from the traditionally more UK-friendly Slovakia. Maybe it is time the UK did the same thing to clear the air. Two other senior diplomatic sources blamed Lord Frost for politicising disagreements between Britain and the EU over the protocol. One insider accused Lord Frost of working to ensure that EU-UK relations remain sub-zero to avoid any useful rapprochement in the foreseeable future. He has called custom checks on British goods excessive and claimed they could damage the peace process. Under the UK-EU Brexit agreement, there is a customs border in the Irish Sea between Britain and Northern Ireland, this is aimed at protecting the invisible border between the six counties and the Republic, an EU member state. Lord Frost, a former UK chief Brexit negotiator, said, among the biggest of the issues facing Northern Ireland is the way the Northern Ireland Protocol is currently working. But Brussels hit back, insisting the customs checks are necessary to ensure goods meet EU standards in case they end up being taken across the boundary into the Republic.